We're here at Rostock. We're, we're all checked in now. We've spent the night uh, at Rostock. It was a very, very long day yesterday. We drove uh, about 420 miles, which is uh, about 700 kilometers. But the journey was horrendous. We had, uh, we were coming up through Germany and there's so many roadworks with narrow lanes, so many lorries around uh, the big cities like Hamburg. Um, queues, like two, two, three mile long queues of uh, articulated lorries. Not for any reason, but because there's so many of them and the, and the roads are so narrow and everybody has to go so slow. Um, I nearly got caught out at one point in because I was sort of in the middle lane overtaking the three mile long queue of lorries and our turn off was coming up. In fact, uh, I didn't know but everything was being turned off and that was one of the reasons. The road works, three lanes coming down into one and turning off. And then um, a bit further down we were told that we couldn't turn off for the motorway that we wanted. That caused us a bit of panic because we were going in completely the wrong direction at that point. Uh, it was about middle of the afternoon, so we'd, we'd been driving for quite a time. We'd set off at uh, about mm, quarter to eight because we'd been woken up in the morning <clears throat> by people um, strimming the hedges around us. Um, but we got going and, and, you know, we managed to turn off at the next uh, thing, the next turn off, the next off ramp, turn around, around about, come back and go off in the correct direction. But we didn't get to Rostock uh, until, well, it was getting dark and it was about half past six, quarter to seven in the evening. Couldn't find couldn't find a park. I had to stop at the check-in centre um, and ask where we could park. He pointed us to a car park that effectively didn't exist anymore as it was uh, now all dug up at a building site. So we managed eventually to find what we thought was going to be an expensive overnight uh, car park. It literally was a car park. There was one other motorhome in there um, the the charges uh, on the board, all written in German, so we translated them, and they turned out to be so confusing. An hour free, an hour for 50 cents, uh, 24 hours was going to be, or, or one in, one out, um, <laughs> one time in and out was four euros. Didn't know what that meant, didn't know whether that meant the same day, and then there was also other charges going up to 250 euros that weren't really clear and I thought well we've got to park somewhere so we took a chance <laughs> and parked in there overnight um, took up about six bays of parking luckily the car park um, wasn't full uh, it was a noisy night because we were parked next to the road but all the lorries come down you know these massive um, 40 ton lorries with massive trailers on rumbling by all night the wind has been blowing a gale all night as well so we've you know I think we're gonna really really welcome getting on the ferry and <laughs> having five hours in a cabin so that we can <laughs> get ourselves back to a starting point if you if you like um, you know, we both feel pretty, pretty frazzled from the journey. We've been doing nothing else, almost, but wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, get on the road, drive for as long as we can manage, find an air, park, have some dinner, go to bed, get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, get on the road, and, and, and the cycle continues. And that's been since last Friday morning. As I record this, it is now Wednesday, no, it's Thursday morning. So this is our seventh day of travel. 
and we're not in Sweden yet. We will be in Sweden at about half past two this afternoon. Ferry leaves at nine. It's eight o'clock now, so we've got an hour to wait before we uh, leave. We haven't been boarded yet, so we will be. There's cars and lorries all around us, uh, lots of stuff going on. It's a bright morning. It has been raining, uh, so it's quite wet, and it's extraordinarily cold. I think it's about five degrees outside with a, a real wind chill factor of blooming hell. That's cold. <laughs> so I don't know how, how cold it is, but you walk outside. I walked across to pay for, oh, paying for the car park that we slept in overnight. I put the, I had to walk across the road where all the lorries and buses were whizzing up and down. Take your life in your hands to do that. And got over to the car, to the ticket machine, put the ticket in. It took about two minutes to sort of register. I'm thinking, oh god, it's eaten the ticket. I'm never going to get out. You know how you do. You panic. You got to get, you got to get to the check-in for the ferry. And then all of a sudden, it said, oh, nothing to pay. So I thought, well, okay. Um, I thought there would be at least four euros to pay. You know, at one time in and out. Um, but there w I took the ticket back, drove to the to the barrier. Wendy put the ticket in because it's on that side. Barrier open, nothing to pay. Absolutely fantastic. So you know that was that was good. And that car park is is almost opposite the check-in desk. If you you know if you're a foot passenger, you go to the check-in desk, and uh, right near the bus stop as well. So if you're coming to Rostock, it seems that that car park's free for overnight. You know, we got there, we probably went in about half past six, quarter to seven, uh, seven o'clock maybe, and then came out at half seven. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe I was earlier, maybe I was late coming last night. Maybe it's a 12 hour cut off, I don't know. Might be, so it might be worth bearing that in mind if you're coming. Um, to Rostock to go across to Trelleborg because that's where we're going today we will be in Sweden starting off at Trelleborg and we will drive directly to the motorhome dealer that is called Benkt B-E-N-K-T so they're going to have a quick look at the fridge probably condemn it um, I'll have a little chat with them about that and uh, they've got my, or I think they've, they've ordered my awning uh, rail bracket. Um, last August, the wind blew while we were away. It's all pegged down, storm straps and all the rest of it. But the, but the wind was so fierce that it took it up, waved it around a bit and broke one of the brackets off. Um, it, it just, on the there's a sort of uh, an arm that comes out that supports it as you wind it out and the outside bracket of that broke off I think I've spoken about it before previous videos and I haven't managed to find um, a convenient place to order it and get it shipped to me so while we're going to the dealer I thought well why not order it and uh, get it have it there so hopefully it'll be there today or tomorrow we're booked in for tomorrow morning and uh, we're going to stay there overnight they've got a Stellplatz right in there in their compound area um, it's not locked the gates are not locked we stayed there last March so you might uh, you might be able to look back uh, for March's video where we did stay it's quite a nice place um, there's a free air the air that they charge five euros for but it does have electric hookup and uh, toilet emptying uh, as well now we haven't we haven't stayed in a place where we could empty the toilet for a couple of days so it needs it needs an empty um, so we we'll get there this afternoon empty the toilet make sure that's all clean and fresh for our onward journey up through Sweden well, there we go, that's where we are. We'll show you a bit, maybe. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do some filming of the cabin and uh, so on, maybe. Uh, so watch out for that. 
Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.